-hmm. like it is. Four major conclusions after 38 years of study and investigation. First, that the evidence is overwhelming that planet Earth is being visited by intelligently controlled extraterrestrial spacecraft. In other words, some, underline the some 27 times, some UFOs are extraterrestrial spacecraft. Most are not. Most isotopes aren't fissionable either. I don't care about those. Second, the subject of flying saucers represents a kind of cosmic water gate. By that I mean that some few people in the governments of the United States, France, England, Canada, Germany, have undoubtedly known since July 1947, and I haven't talked about the second crash west of there, or how I got involved in this in the first place, uh, a few people within the governments have known that the planet has been visited. You don't keep secrets by telling everybody. The need to know concept is paramount. Third, none of the arguments made against conclusions one and two by the debunkers of the world, including my University of Chicago classmate Carl Sagan, stand up under careful scrutiny. Their arguments sound very good until you check them against the evidence and then they collapse. And finally, fourth, this is the biggest story of the millennium. Visits to planet Earth by alien spacecraft, successful cover-up of the best data, the bodies and the wreckage, for almost 49 years. Why are you interested? And who are you to know so many things about that and to look like as if you believe all this story? Means you believe it. Well, okay. I spent 14 years in industry working on canceled government-sponsored research and development programs, nuclear airplanes, fission rockets, fusion nuclear rockets, nuclear power plants for space. I worked for major corporations, General Electric, Westinghouse, General Motors, TRW, Aerojet General. I have been, right from the start, interested in far-out technology, advanced technology, space travel, things like that. And I've worked on programs that like we operated nuclear rockets this big at a power level of 4,000 megawatts. We operated aircraft engines on nuclear power. And about 1961, at the University of California Library in Berkeley, huge library, I ran across a privately published version of Project Blue Book Special Report Number 14, the largest official scientific study ever done for the United States Air Force Project Blue Book. They had data on 3,200 sightings investigated by professional people spending full time. Categorizations, quality evaluations, charts, tables, graphs, maps, 240 of them. I was in data heaven because data is my ball game. I like taking lots of information, making sense out of it. These are two released CIA UFO documents. You can read uh, eight words there, nine words here. Totally useless words, info, location, date, things like that. Now, there are two further points. Anybody who says that agencies of the United States government are not withholding information about flying saucers are either lying or ignorant or both. I have been challenging some of the debunkers to get any of the NSA documents, 156, they say so. And it's been 10 years. Not one so far. Or the CIA documents, the rest of them. Now, some people say, look, 14 documents over a lot of years, obviously it wasn't very important. That's not true. I talked to the man who forced the CIA to release its information about mind control experiments. Illegal use of drugs like LSD and not telling the people and not with permission, nasty stuff. His first release from the government was 400 pages. He was a lawyer in Washington, so he could go back to court easily. He threatened them. I'm going to go back to court. I know there must be more. There's internal. We'll look again. They found another 400 pages. And he made more noise. They found another box and another box and another box. To make a long story short, he wound up getting 40,000 pages. The first release was 1% of what he eventually got. And I have it on good authority. He still didn't get it all. So what we're dealing with here is a clear situation where agencies of the United States government are absolutely withholding information. And as a matter of fact, an agency of the United States Air Force, the Air Force Office of Special Investigations, wrote a memo about me 
saying we have reason to believe that all of our units, some or all of our units, and there are over 120 units of the OSI, would be receiving a Freedom of Information Act request from Stanton Friedman, they gave my address, concerning UFOs. If such a request is received, do not repeat, do not respond as required by Air Force Regulation 12-30 Instead, respond as follows. All such requests must be submitted to the major main office of the OSI. Now, if you get the regulation, what they're supposed to do when they get a request is find the information, send it to headquarters for review, and notify the requestor that they have found the information, thus revealing the existence of the information. What they were telling their units to do is don't tell them anything other than to talk to us, and we can tell them anything we want. Now, if there is nothing to cover up, why do you tell your people to violate their own regulations? I worked on classified programs for 14 years. I will absolutely guarantee you that secrets can be kept. I helped keep some. Furthermore, I've been to 15 archives, all kinds, in the United States and one in Canada. I have never yet seen special compartmented information. That's this extra word after the top secret, ultra, umbra, magic, whatever. Does that mean there isn't any such material? No, I asked at the Eisenhower Library, do you have any special compartmented information? Yes. This is in person, so we couldn't lie very easily. Uh, how much do you have? About a drawer full, file drawer full. Can you search it for certain terms, magic, MJ-12, things like that. No, it would violate security. So, unless one has access to the special compartmented information, one will not get to the secrets. And despite all my looking, I have never seen any such material except that affidavit, and we don't even know what the word is after it. So, are secrets being kept? Absolutely.